My name is Frank White, and welcome to another episode of Photography Tips and Reviews. Today, in this episode, I am going to briefly talk about the YN622C, and the C is for Canon, TX, which is for transmitter, wireless flash controller. Now, I think there is a version for the Nikon users, which would be the YN622N-TX. Um, but if that doesn't exist, then let me know in the comments below. Um, and the reason I think it exists because there is an N version for the, for the, um, the normal flash controllers, uh, or the normal flash, con um, transmitter slash receivers um, or transceiver as they are called. But I digress. Let's get right to it. So to upgrade the firmware, then you will need to download two pieces of software and install it on your computer. One, the first piece of software that you want to download and install is the actual uh, program to that installs the firmware on this little jaw and the second piece that you want to uh, download would be the actual firmware. Um, since I did read the Elfin manual um, and that's what it's called when somebody say well how do I do something and the technician want to say read the Elfin manual. Anyway so I read the, the, the manual so you don't have to and in order to download the, the firmware, then there is a URL that Yanua provide that I'll eventually get to in this demo or this, this um, tip. Okay, so, so what I'm gonna do now is just head off to my computer and just show you the process with minimal uh, narration and we will go from there. So I've switched to my computer. I guess you can tell by the difference in the mic sound, but please note the URL that I just highlighted. Um, so you want to type in this URL to get the Young Newer site, and this is what comes up when you type it up. Now, I'm going to copy it and um, start again. I've already ran through half this URL, so I got some of this already done. Okay, so once you get to this point, and you want to download both files on the driver and software, um, um, get those two files there. Also, the one, the firmware, the version 1.07. Okay, so I've already downloaded them, and um, there you are. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and launch the 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 well first i'm gonna extract both files um and i've already done that and now i am going to run the setup file to install the the firmware installer it's a pretty straightforward process all you got to really do is follow the follow the the prompts Now this is installing in real time, so you would get a, a feel for how long it takes on, depending on your computer system, of course. Okay. Now you notice that my, I'm not connected. Uh, so right now my computer does not see the device. Uh, in order, in order to see the device, you are going to need to hold, turn your flash controller off with the USB cord connected. And of course, you can use the USB to came, the USB cord that came with your camera as long as it's a mini USB. But you want to turn the device off. 
hold down the mode button and turn the device on and at that point it should see you should be able to see your the computer should see the device and start to install the driver okay so that's what I've done and now I'm actually updating the firmware it doesn't take but a few seconds for it to update okay and at this point you are pretty much done you are you have successfully updated your firmware to version 1.07 So, cheers, drink a beer. I hope I've been able to give you some really good information on this YN622C-TX flash wireless controller. Um, one of the, a couple of things I, I would like to mention is I do intend to eventually review the, the 600 the YN600 RT flash units with the built-in transceivers and the flash controller units. So stay tuned. In fact, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a single episode of upcoming tips and reviews. Also, if you like this video and you thought I've been able to give you some, inf some useful information, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Uh, that's really important to me and it also uh, gives other users a barometer uh, of how useful this video might be. Finally, if you have any comments um, or corrections about some of the information that I presented, go ahead and leave them below. I read my comments even if they are a year or two old. So. Um, so even if this video is a year or two old, go ahead and leave a comment and I promise you I will read it. And as always, if you're going to shoot anybody today, shoot them with a cannon or a camera of your choice. And as always guys, remember, happy shooting.